Welcome to Rise of the Tomb Raider, the sequel to Tomb Raider 2013 and a part of the Tomb Raider reboot trilogy. I wanted to play this game straight away after the first Tomb Raider since that game is amazing and Rise did not disappoint. I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy today including the DLCs and in the trophy list I normally start with how many bronzes it has but this time I'm going to be I'm going to start in reverse order so gold silver bronze this game obviously has a platinum it has to come on one gold five silvers and are you ready 118 bronzes equaling up in total to 125 trophies this is the most trophies I've earned in a game it was Batman Arkham Knight with 110 but now it's Rise with 125 but anyways, I hope you enjoy. This is a good one. Okay, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. What the neon. Um, welcome to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Pretty excited to play this game. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition was awesome. Um, so I'm super excited to play this. Some people consider this game to be the best in the series. So I'm curious to see if I think so myself. But um, yeah, I'm going to start with the... The uh, endurance trophies, the solo and co-op trophies, because I want to get them out of the way as soon as possible. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, just gonna skim over these endurance trophies because the video would be a little bit too long, and playing endurance after a couple hours was a bit boring. It was fun at first, but when you play it for hours, it uh, got boring and repetitive pretty quickly. So yeah, hope you don't mind, but just gonna skip over these. I'm fine. Oh, I got a trophy. English, uh, pet, what is this? Headshot an enemy with an arrow from a distance be beyond 25 meters. Oh, I got a trophy. Get away from her. Got, I got sisters of Athena. Nice. Oh, I got a trophy. Quite the collector. Oh, collect 150 cards. Oh, nice. I got, I got teamwork, I got teamwork. It popped! Yes! Yes! Can you yeah, fucking can! Yep, a face for two! Yes sir! Eat the meat of three bears with your partner, yes sir. Let's go, dude. I got, for the night is dark. Let's go! What a shot as well. Oh, I got a mask. Oh yeah. Yeah, archaeologist, yep. Collect at least ten artifacts. Yeah. There we go, no one left behind. Yep. Survive a player three times in this new expedition. Yes, yeah, so that was cool. Let's go. I got it, Master and Apprentice. Escape the forest after surviving ten days with at least twenty artifacts. Yeah, there you go. Got it, well done. Eat the meat of five birds, squirrels, or rabbits that were killed with fire. <laughs> Easy, dude. Yep, still tastes good. Nice. Oh, I've got happy camper. I got it, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh my god. Yes, yes. You are a legend, you are a legend. So with endurance mode done, it is now time to start up the single player, or the main campaign, whatever. Uh, massive shout out to my mate Oscar1073, he did not need to help me since he already did the trophies, but he's an absolute legend, so I appreciate him for helping out. And yeah, let's start up the story. Alright, so there we go, endurance is done, I never have to uh, play it again, thank god, glad that's done. Now it's time to do my first playthrough on Survivor since that is required for a trophy. You have to, there's a trophy where you need to beat the game on Survivor. So I'm going to do that. Um, apparently uh, Survivor 
is easier than Uncharted on Crushing, so yeah, because I saw that, I'm going to start on Zawala, but yeah, if that wasn't there, then I probably would have done just, yeah, mm, well, good balance for yeah, Tomb Raider. So, yeah, because it said Survivor is easier than Crushing on Uncharted, it shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. If I uh, struggle, then I am, a, I am a bad gamer. So, yeah, let's go. Yeah, man, this is awesome. The scenery, look at this. The scenery is insane. I'm loving the set so far. I was going to say, for a 2015 game, this game looks pretty good, not going to lie. This is awesome. I'm reading, like, Greek writings here. And I have, like, get level 1. Yeah, language pro proficiency increased. So now I can, like, finish this puzzle, I guess. That is actually awesome. I actually love that. Oh my god. It's amazing. If only Dad could have seen this. Yeah, this is amazing. Holy shit, dude. Oh, following in father's footsteps. Enter the Syrian tomb. Nice. Um There was a battle here. I'm kinda confused though. Because there's a trophy where um you complete the prologue, but I didn't get it. Do I get it later? I hope so. Find shelter. There it is. Quite a tumble. Survived the avalanche. There we go. So it wasn't glitched. Thank God, dude. Let's go. Tougher than she looks. What's this? Survive a night in the Siberian wilderness. Alright. Uh, Easy. Yeah, no one's in there, man. Get him lower. Just come behind a tree. Oh, she's gonna be in the bush. She's in that bush for sure. Oh, she. What's the situation? Over. We found another camp. She on the tree. Oh, she's on the tree. Yeah, we plan Assassin's Creed. Let's go. Let's let's um air assassinate this guy. Oh. What? Oh. Okay, that wasn't really a really a air assa uh, assassination, but sure. What is it? Loot. Oh, good trophy. One-sided com conversation. Stealth kill an enemy while they are having a conversation. All right. Well, that's very easy. We take that. In Empire. Oh, challenge room. Uh, complete any challenge tomb. Oh. Oshiam, Oshiam. Have to move. Oh, strange Without acquaintance. Rescue Jacob from the Gulag. Any moment. So I guess he won Do his you know Gulag, he won the uh, 1v1. Yes. Well, legend, that's why he's the greatest. Nearby. Reading the pass. Translate a monolith. Nice, mate. Nice, mate. Fire starter. Defeat two enemies or more using a single Molotov cocktail. Uh, for platinum. Uh, yeah. There's like a score attack you gotta do. Oh wait, is there a molly? I need a... Uh, where is, is there a molly anywhere? Oh wait, hold on. Oh, I am the greatest of all time. Jesus. Oh, Truth Seeker. Collect 25% of all narrative assets, relics, murals, and documents. Nice. It's a quarter way there. Shut up, La. Quarter way there. Let's go. Glad I could help. Oh, taking the high road. Light the signal fire in the remnant valley. Oh, nice. Story trophy. Oh. He got shot to the chest. Hee <laughs> hee, haha. 
Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got an AR now. AR and a shotgun. Oh my god, this game is the best game ever made. Wait, I'm gonna wait for him there. There we go. There we go, got the trophy, rapid recovery, heal yourself in combat three times, yep, nice. I felt that was definitely way more than three, but hey, at least I got that one. Oh, helping hand. Defend remnant home from the loot invasion. Alright, another story mode trophy for you. Let's go. Light work, man, light work. Oh. There we go, was that really necessary? Kill any animal with an explosive, nice. I right, grab it. Just move, la. Move. This is it. Grab it and leave. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They're coming. What did I say, bro? What did I say, bro? You st oh, it's the key to it all. The cover the atlas. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Wanted to show this off because this was very sick. Kind of reminds me of like Assassin's Creed 3, climbing on the trees, losing the bow. Very cool. Finally get what we came for. Hard to say. Fearless. Defeat a deathless swordsman using only melee attacks and a finisher. Fall guys. Kill ten enemies by shooting them in the leg. Nice, man. Nice. A trusty old friend, kill five enemies within ten seconds using any rifle. Mate, that was cold. Just a headshot. Fucking frenzy. Let's fucking go, man. There we go, man. Brad is a Tomb Raider. That was awesome. Great game. Really great game. Um, I definitely do prefer the first game, but this this one was awesome. Especially during the end, it started getting really, really good, or was really, really good. Yeah, that was great. That was really awesome. So after story done, with some miscellaneous trophies earned, amazing story by the way, it's now time to get the rest of the miscellaneous trophies and 100% completion. So 100% completion is just getting all the collectibles, doing all the tombs, all the challenges, just what you'd, what you'd expect in a game that requires you to get 100%. So, the audio is muted from now on uh, for some of the trophies because getting the collectibles were an absolute grind and pretty boring. So, yeah, hopefully you don't mind, but let's get into it.
Let's go, man. 100% is done for Tomb Raider. Let's go, dude. Let's go. So now let's go do some miscellaneous trophies and then score attack. So let's go, bro. So happy to be done because uh, these collectibles were a grind. But yeah, let's go. Glad to be done. Finally, quick and painless. Shoot 15 deer in the heart, easy, let's go. Renegade, melee 5 enemies off a ledge, easy mode, easy mode. There we go, Blade of Justice, perform 25 special stealth kills with the knife. Triple threat, kill 3 enemies with 1 shotgun blast, nice. Chemical Warfare, kill 5 enemies with 1 poison arrow, yes sir. Laying down the law, kill 6 enemies with the revolver without reloading. I think I just need one more miscellaneous trophy and then uh, it's time to do score attack. Actually, two more trophies, but yeah, once I get those two, then it's time to do uh, score attack. Let's go, man. Getting this platinum soon. Bacon, kill a razorback, uh, blah, blah, blah. kill a razorback boar using a Molotov uh, cocktail. Nice, one more remaining. Paying the specs, attend the funeral. There we go, guys. All the miscellaneous trophies are done. Now it's just time to do the score attacks. So now it's time to do score attack. Which, if you don't know what score attack is, pretty much you have to play through the whole game again. Well, chapters. You have to play all all the chapters of the game, and pretty much when you go to uh, yeah, so when you go to uh, so you have survival, which gives you three times points for kills, and then. Adventurer 0.5 times point for kills, so not that good. So, if you want to play Survivor, and then when you continue, you've got challenges. These aren't really that important, but what's really important is the cards. So, you have these cards which plus 100%. So, if it's green, that means you'll uh, be at a disadvantage. So, enemies have double their base armor strength. Enemies will always dodge melee attacks. Just just stuff like that that gives Lara a disadvantage. And then you also have advantage uh, advantages uh, which um, helps out Lara. Yeah, here. Decreases damage taken by 25%. Shotgun is fully upgraded. Grants unlimited fire ammo. Just stuff like that. Pretty cool. It sounds very fun. So I'm gonna do the highest uh, multiplier that I can so I can get as much points as possible so it should be pretty good my worst enemy complete a level in score attack with a score multiplier of 200% or more yes I got it glided complete a level in score attack with a gold score let's go finally bro Okay, is that gold, please? Oh, big points. Yes! Yes! I am the fucking greatest! I am the fucking greatest! Oh my god, that was a hump. By 140,000? Jesus Glazer, man. Jesus Glazer. Dude, am I just the greatest? No. Untouchable. Oh, we play five different levels without taking any damage. Oh, sick, dude. Let's go. Yeah, pretty easy to get down. Pretty easy to get that one while getting gold. That's nice. Let's go.
Let's go! Oh, I'm so fucking good. Like, just call me Big Dick fucking Larry. Whoa. Calm down. That's a little bit serious, but calm down. 1.3 million? Nine minutes? I mean, my, just fucking look at me. Well begun is half done. Complete 10 levels and score attack with a gold score. Nice. How much was that by? Oh my god, that was... 200,000, 220,000 I got that. Jesus dude, well, yeah, so far these gold scores haven't been that hard. I was struggling with a bit, uh, I can't English. I was, sh I cannot English. I was struggling a bit during like the early ones, like the early levels. I didn't, re I didn't really understand the concept of, uh, you know, gaining points, multiplying, whatever. But, um, yeah, 10 levels in, not too bad at all. I'm not sure how many more I have left, but I could be halfway. Actually, let me look now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. Alright, so 17 left, and then this Platinum is pretty much mine, so that's nice. Uh, I'm probably going to get off now, but I'll definitely uh, finish the rest tomorrow, I reckon. So, let's go. Way to go! Oh, complete every level and score attack with a bronze score better, and... Bro, how? Oh. How? 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 I how? Didn't... Shut up, Mike! How? Shut up! I'm trying to Bro, talk to I my... put a shotgun gel into his fucking brain! <clears throat> Shut up. I didn't get gold, but this is the last <clears throat> level, guys. Oh my god, daddy boy. Oh my god. So I gotta replay this level again, get gold, and this blatant yum is mine. I am going to be a gamer. <laughs> Let's go, dude. The chain. Golden child! Complete every level in score attack with a gold score. Let's fucking go, man. We have one more trophy remaining, which is going to be very, very, very easy. Oh my god, let's go, dude. Let's go. That all you got? And... Platinum. Let's fucking go, man. Yes, sir. Let's go. The plat... The, the plat is done, boys. Now, all it's time to do is do the DLCs. And then once the DLCs are done, the 100% is finally done. All 125 trophies. The most trophies I've ever seen. Oh, the most trophies, the most trophies in a game that I've played. Originally, it was Arkham Knight with 110, but now... Rise of the Tomb Raider takes it, 125, so I doubt I'll ever play a game that has more trophies than Rise of the Tomb Raider, but man, this game has just been amazing. The whole series so far has been amazing. Obviously, I still have Shadow to do, the final um, final game of the uh, reboot trilogy, but Tomb Raider Definitive Edition and um, Rise of the Tomb Raider have just been amazing games, and everyone should definitely play them. So yeah, let's go and do the DLCs. Yes, sir. So, now that the Platinum is done, it is time to start up the three DLCs. So the first DLC that released is Baba Yaga. So I need to look for this uh, person, and I guess that's how the DLC starts. So uh, let's do this DLC, Madafaga. Okay, so I need to look for this person, find the hidden remnant. I guess to uh, somewhere over here, so let's go find them. Are they in here? Let's see. Come on out. Oh, they're not in here. Nothing. They're definitely big enough to hide in. Are you in here? Hurt. Come on out. Oh, blood. Oh, hide and seek. Baba Yaga, rescue Nadia from Trinity. Trinity. Nice. I'm not with Trinity. All right, so we need to find Grandpa. It's gone, it's gone missing, trying to get revenge. I got some enemies on me. Oh, shit, we got some of them. We got a flamethrower guy. Oh my god, I'm just gonna run. But yeah, we need to find Grandpa, he's trying to get revenge for this witch named Baba Yaga. So, let's go ahead and find him. 
Abandon all, all, abandon all hope. Enter the wicked veil. Found your wicked veil. I don't know if yeah. it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Yeah. Be Look careful. at this place, dude. This is her land. This is her land, yeah. I'm not worried at all, dude. Yeah, this... This is a little bit sus, I ain't gonna lie. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm like hallucinating, dude. What the hell is going on out here? There is a truth behind you. What the fuck kind of beat is this? A moment of clarity. Face the witch and live. Yeah, this is... This is crazy. What the fuck, dude? Where are they now? Am, uh, amateur chemist. Craft antidote. Nice. Story trophy. Oh, shit. Ow. Peek out, bitch. Peek out, bitch. He ain't peeking. Last ride of the witch house. Activate the ancient lift. Dude, this puzzle before getting on the lift was so shit. Had to use a guide, but... Yeah, should be done with this DLC soon. Truth behind the myth. Unmask Baba Yaga. Nice. That was a great DLC, dude. Uh, I can get another trophy here if I talk to Nadia. There we go. Fond farewell. Speak to Nadia again before leaving the Wicked Vale. While I look around some more. Yeah, pretty great DLC. Uh, that was fun. Uh, give her a solid... Mm, 7 out of 10, I'd say. Pretty fun DLC. So now it's time to do the rest of the miscellaneous trophies. So let's go. Let's go do that. What the fuck, bro? Finally. Vasilis, I think they said, uh, lanterns. Complete the challenge in Wicked Vale. Cause that was glitched, man. What the fuck was that, bro? Jesus Christ. And there we go. Complete history of witchcraft. Collect all of the documents in the Wicked Vale. There we go, man. I think I just need four more now. No, three more actually. And this, uh. DLC will be done, so that is nice. Let's go, man. The Wraith of Serbia. Kill 50 enemies while wearing the Wraith skin now, but let's go. Bravo's Legacy. Confuse 10 enemies with the Dream Stinger. Nice. Just one more trophy remaining, and this DLC is done. Let's go. And there we go, Witch Trials. Complete every Wicked Veil score attacks with a gold score. There we go, guys. Baba Yaga's DLC is done. Two more remaining, man. Let's go. How many more trophies do I need? Under 20 for sure, I know that. I need 20. I need 20 more trophies. Trophies. I need 20 more trophies, exactly. Let's go, bro. Should be done pretty soon. So now we have the second DLC, which is called Cold Darkness. So tutorial action, I'll just go new game and then play on the easiest difficulty. So yeah man, Cold Darkness, second DLC. Shouldn't take too long to finish, so let's see how this goes. Oh shit bro. Here we go. Look what we got boys. We got zombies. Who is this fucking bullshit? Oh my god. This is horrifying me. Horrifying. Look, we got more meat. We got more. Please, you gotta get me out of here. Yeah, anon me, anon me. Give a man a fire. Kill 20 enemies with dragon fire shotgun rounds. Nice, mate. An ocean in storm. Kill 75 enemies in a single cold darkness one. Uh, run. Nice. 
don't think I'll be able to get to uh, get all the trophies done today, but definitely tomorrow. To the rescue. Rescue six prisoners. Nice. There we go. How do you say that? Uh, complete cold darkness. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna get off for the day. Uh, I should be done with this DLC tomorrow. Let's go. Taking. And there we go, the final trophy, Legendary Gunsmith, Open 6, Upgrade Pride Chess. Let's go, man. Cold Darkness is done. One more DLC remaining, which is Croft Manor, which is right here. So yeah, man, let's get this shit done. This is very cool, being in Croft Manor, you know, uh getting collectibles, whatever, but there's so many, 54 relics, 40 documents, and two mur like mur murals, not a lot, but the documents and relics, there's a lot, but I'm pretty sure there's no enemies in this, I could be wrong though, but yeah, this, yeah, this is cool though, just exploring the Croft Manor, seeing what I can find, very cool indeed. Well, this isn't scary, isn't it, being by myself in the dark with a light, no weapons on me, I assume. Yeah, this isn't scared at all. Fucking hell. Relic Hunter. Collect 50% of the relics in Cro there in Croft Manor. Nice. Less than 10 trophies remaining, man. Let's go. Oh, another trophy. Key to the pass. Acquire the master key. Nice. Meet the cross. Like 50% of the documents in Croft Manor. Nice, man. Dude, I'm getting these trophies fast. I took that Master Detective. Open Lord Croft safe. Nice. Hmm, Legacy. That? There we go. Finish the Blood Ties story. Damn, dude. That was that was emotional. Like at the the ending there was emotional. Damn, that was great. That was really fun. Complete family history. Collect all the documents in Croft Manor. Nice. Yeah, just, just one more trophy in this part. Thing. Hey, there mm, we go. Home Raider. Collect all the relics in Croft Manor. Let's go, man. So now all of the trophies are done in Croft Manor. Now we're gonna do like the second part of this DLC, which is like, which is called Lara's Nightmare. Yeah, Lara's Nightmare. Get all the trophies for that story, DLC, second part, whatever, and this game is done. So let's get into it. Jesus, dude, this is insane. So, you know, Cro Croft Manor, there's no enemies, you're just exploring, looking for treasures, like relics, documents, whatever. But this bullshit, we got like some zombies, kind of, demons, demon thingies, dude. Like this shit, this shit is scary bro, this shit is scary. Ooh! Jesus! Yeah, good try, bucko. Enter the nightmare. Destroy a skull of rage in Lara's nightmare. Yeah, story related. Let's go. Sweet dreams. Finish Lara's nightmare. Yeah, that was so quick. Probably took like five minutes. It should show me, right? Like how long it took. Yeah, 5:23. Yeah, very quick. Now it's gonna kill 100 enemies, and this game is done. Let's go, dude. I am hyped. Let's go. Fight the fear. Defeat 100 enemies in Lara's Nightmare. There we go, guys. The 100% is done. Absolute grind. Took me nearly like 50 hours to do the whole game, including the DLC. But man, this game was awesome. I do prefer 
Tomb, Tomb, Raid, Tomb Raider Definitive, Definitive Edition or Tomb Raider 2013, the first game in the reboot trilogy. But man, this game was still amazing to play. Um, yeah, definitely excited to uh, start up Shadow to finish this trilogy. But man, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider was amazing, dude. Let's go. Happy to. I can't speak. Jesus. Happy to be done with this 100%. Let's go. And there we go, guys. The platinum and DLCs are done for Rise of the Tomb Raider. So now I'm going to go into some stats on how much I enjoyed the game, uh, how hard the platinum is, and how much I enjoyed going for the platinum. So for the game itself, how much I enjoyed it, uh, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Super action packed, like something you'd see in Uncharted. Story was great, characters are great. Didn't really have any complaints, to be honest. Um, I do prefer the first Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, or Tomb Raider 2013, but Rise was still great and amazing to play. Um, platinum difficulty, uh, not hard at all. You do need to finish the game on Survivor, but Survivor is very easy. Um, so yeah, because of that, I'd give it a 4 out of 10. Really not that hard at all. Um, platinum enjoyment, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Again, you got to complete the game on survivor difficulty, which isn't that hard. And then got to get 100% completion, which you need to get all the collectibles, do all the tombs, do all the challenges. Very grindy, very tedious. And then having to do another playthrough with score attack. Again, score attack's not that hard, but having to do a second playthrough was a bit tedious, but I didn't mind doing it because score, ta score attack was pretty fun to do. So yeah, that's going to be it for the video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. This game was really fun to play. Had a great time with it. And my next platinum will be Shadow of the Tomb Raider to finish off the Tomb Raider reboot trilogy. Super excited to play that. And it uh, should be a good one. I reckon it will be. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, let me know what you think, I also stream these games as well on my YouTube channel, so if you'd like to check out some of the streams, I'd appreciate it, and yeah, that's it guys, bye bye!